Idris Elba's comments on the need to sort of control knife crime led, not surprisingly, to a a rather large number of um, commentators starting off the comments on about how it's them and those ones doing it and stupid comments abounded on many sites such as you can take the jungle out of people or you can't take the jungle out of people even if they come out of the jungle and equally stupid stuff. However, the idea that razor gangs are something unknown in Britain before black people step here is something that people should be uh, disabuse themselves of very, very quickly. There's a long tradition of them in the UK. And Glasgow, in particular, has had significant problems with them over the years. Recent, in recent years, it had significant problems it managed to quell, but that goes back much further. The Glasgow Razor Gangs were violent gangs that existed in the east and south and the south end and south side of Glasgow, Scotland, in the late 1920s and 30s. I doubt there were too many roadmen running around <laughs> Glasgow's east end and south side of Glasgow in that era, or too many blokes from the Caribbean. No, what you will find if you look at it is that some of it's religious sectarianism that was transported over from Ireland, where Catholic immigrants clashed with Protestants and gangs formed, and you had a massive a sort of horrible gang situation that evolved with extremely nasty gangs, such as the B Billy Boys mentioned here, the Penny Mobs, the Bridgerton Billy Boys, and the Norman Conks. That's a great name, by the way. This article also tells you about um, sort of the later gang problems in sort of Glasgow in the last few years, which I think most people commenting seem to be strangely unaware of, despite the fact that Glasgow is a part of the UK. In the early 2000s, the the knife crime level in Glasgow was quite awful and quite shocking. There was a huge wave of knife crime up there. They've managed to tackle it, and it may be worth looking at some of the methods they used. But the idea that sort of it's um, there's some sort of inherent quality to black and Karen pe people that suggests that they will they are all running around with knives or machetes because that's how they are, as I've seen now on about five or six different channels, is eye rollingly silly. Uh, knives have been used as a, a weapon of criminality and for fighting in numerous cultures it's quite silly to see this stuff popping up and see these people trying to do it and then you'll see underneath thousands of comments going get them out send them all back and so on because the people who make these channels are well aware that most people aren't going to do any basic historical research or look at basic facts and often they're going to be unaware of them so they can rabble rouse content um, while they engage in a minor demagoguery that they don't understand that they're causing social tensions themselves. It's quite irresponsible and quite silly. Even if Elba's um, views are possibly a little bit naive, or since I don't believe if you, co if you confiscate all these zombie knives, it will instantly stop knife crime since it's quite possibly easy to go down to mummy's drawer and pull out a bread knife, at least he's concerned about it, whereas just mocking him for being concerned, and worse yet, mocking him sometimes for being concerned because of his race and having a pop at it from that, seems particularly childish. Has something got to be done about it? Yes. Um, do we need to stop mocking people like Elba just because they talk? Yes. Is Elba's per comments perfect? No. Are the in comments of um, YouTube channels which just suggest that black men should shut up about things like this and keep their voices shut worth hearing? Well, per personally, I'd rather people like that remove themselves from the conversation.